Humans have a lot of advantages over animals. We have languages, opposable thumbs, and most of us are a lot smarter than animals. Our eyeballs, as it turns out, are pretty boring. Many animals have eyes that let them see the world much differently than we do. So let's find out exactly how the animals of Earth view the world. Amazing. Number 20, dogs. We humans have three different kinds of color detecting cells in our eyes. They're known as cones, whereas dogs only have two. The cone cells that dogs have are only capable of detecting yellow and blue to ultraviolet light. Each type of cone contains a pigment that is sensitive to a different wavelength of light, so the range of color that an animal could see depends on what combination of pigments they have. Since dogs have fewer cone types, they are not able to see as many colors as we can. Many people believe that dogs see in black and white, but that isn't true. A dog would see a rainbow as light blue, dark yellow, light yellow, white, and very dark blue. Pretty drab. Number 19, geckos. Human cone cells need pretty bright light in order to function well, which is why we cannot see colors that well when it's dark. Luckily, we also have rod cells, which help us see in low light, which has a single light-sensitive pigment. Unlike humans, geckos have great color vision even in the dark. Dark doesn't even look that dark to them, since their eyes are 350 times more sensitive to color in low light than ours. Geckos evolved to have these eyes because they hunt at night, Number 18, Giant Clams. As it turns out, giant clams not only have eyes, but have a few hundred eyes about the size of pinholes all along the edge of their bodies. Their eyes are shaped like a cup and have very narrow openings, and unlike our eyes, they do not have a lens. Giant clams are sensitive to three different colors of light, but they cannot combine that information. This means that they see colorful, but undefined images. They can detect movement, however, which is all they really need to get by. If they see a nearby predator, they could squirt a jet of water at them, or close their shell in self-defense. Number 17, Jumping Spiders. Jumping spiders are like regular spiders, except worse, because they could quickly jump away from the newspaper you're trying to smash it with, and they have great vision. Like most spiders, they have eight eyes with which to detect potential prey. Their biggest pair of eyes faces forward and gives them high-resolution vision for sea and detail, and their other smaller eyes towards the back of their head to give them peripheral vision and motion detection. Jumping spiders can also see more colors than we can due to their special pigments which are sensitive to ultraviolet light. Number 16, Mantis Shrimp. You've probably heard of the Mantis Shrimp because of their famous aquarium glass-shattering punching capability. Well, as if they even needed other superhero-esque abilities, it turns out they also have freakishly good eyesight. In fact, they have one of the most elaborate eyes of any animal on Earth. As mentioned before, humans have three types of cones in their eyes. Mantis shrimp have 16. Mantis shrimp can also tune the sensitivity level of their vision at will to adapt to different environments. Scientists have yet to discover another animal that could do that. Who would have thought that the most intricate visual system on Earth would be attached to this weird shrimp? Number 15, bees. If you've seen the bee movie, you already know that bees are important. But what you may not know is that bees have a thousand eyes as opposed to two. Bees, like many other insects, have compound eyes that are made of many amatidia, meaning each act like an individual eye. They all point in slightly different directions, which gives bees a wider angle of sight than humans. The image that bees see is not as sharp as ours, but it does let them see up to 300 pictures per second, versus humans, who can only see 65. Number 14, Cats. If you've ever wondered why sometimes cats' eyes will be a different color in a photo than they are when you look at them, this is due to the tapetum lucidum, a reflective layer behind the retina that redirects light back through the eye. This works in the same way that shining a light at a mirror creates more light than shining one against a wall. The tapetum lucidum means that not only do cats see better in the dark, but they actually see better in the dark than they do in the light. Number 13, Flies. Flies could see limited colors, but they have a very broad field of vision and see in a sort of mosaic effect. The reason flies could seemingly almost always escape from whatever you're trying to kill them with isn't because they're psychic, but because they literally see the world in slow motion. They're like Keanu Reeves in The Matrix, except all the time. 
This was discovered in a study that tested different animals' ability to detect separate flashes of fast flickering light. Scientists found that time perception is directly related to size and how fast an animal's metabolic rate is. So the tiny fly, with its extremely fast metabolic rate, can easily react to and escape your fly swatting attempts. Number 12. Snakes Some animals, like snakes, don't see color at all. Snakes that spend most of their time underground have small, simple eyes that only differentiate between light and dark. Snakes that live above ground and need their vision for hunting prey have very clear vision as well as good depth perception. Certain species of snakes, such as boas and pythons, also have what are called pit organs on their heads, which can see heat sources. So, they essentially have their own pair of built-in infrared goggles. Number 11. Cows Cows seem like pretty boring animals, so you'd expect them to pretty much see the way that we do. You would be wrong. This is what cows have tricked you into thinking. Most cows do see limited colors, since they're red-green colorblind. They see mostly gray and black, but also versions of yellow and blue, since unlike humans, they only have two color receptions. Cows also have what is known as panoramic vision, meaning that they can see in all directions without having to move their heads. Cows can see 300 degrees just by moving their eyeballs, which only leaves a small blind spot on the back of their heads. Good luck trying to sneak up on one of these guys. Number 10. Birds Vision is particularly important for birds, since you don't want to hit something while you're 50 feet in the air. They have the largest eyes relative to their size in the whole animal kingdom. Unlike humans, who have three color receptor cones allowing us to see red, blue, and green, birds have four cones, so they can also see in the ultraviolet spectrum. That's pretty handy, because the high phosphorus content in urine glows brightly, allowing birds like kestrels to track prey like voles by their urine trails. Impressively, birds can also rapidly change the shape of their eye lens, similar to how a camera functions, and they have a third transparent eyelid. So, some birds of prey can basically see much like a camera with both a macro lens and a zoom lens to focus on multiple things at once particular kind of birds even have their own special eye abilities. For instance, nocturnal birds, such as owls, actually have tubular eyes rather than spherical ones, allowing more light to enter the eye for a brighter, more crisp image. This makes it especially handy for nighttime hunting. Some seagoing birds even have red or yellow oil droplets inside their eyes, which allow them to see in hazy conditions. Number 9. Horses Horses have some of the largest eyes of any land mammal. Because their eyes are on the sides of their heads, they have an even greater field of vision than cows, capable of seeing 350 degrees without moving their head. Horses see the world in only two colors, blue and green. This is why in show jumping, where people train horses to jump over obstacles, the obstacles are always brightly colored, contrasting heavily with the ground. A horse would have a hard time distinguishing an obstacle that was only a few shades different from the ground. Number 8. Frogs Frogs are nearsighted, therefore they can't see at distances that well. Their eyes are extremely sensitive to movement, so if a frog's prey does not move, they will not detect it. They also have excellent night vision due to a mirror-like layer in the back of their eye called tapetum. While the extent to which frogs can see colors has not been determined, they do have some ability to detect different hues in the environment around them. In fact, frogs may even be able to detect color in extremely low-light situations where other animals only see shades of gray. Frog eyes are especially interesting to humans, since they can actually regenerate certain structures if they've been damaged. Scientists believe that by studying frogs' eyes, they could discover a cure for certain vision problems in humans. Frogs also use their eyes to help them swallow food. After a frog has its prey in its mouth, you will see it retract its eyeballs into its head, actually pushing the food down and letting the frog swallow. Hopefully, scientists do not research this aspect of frog vision any further, because that's really gross. Number 7. Chameleons Like birds, chameleons could see all the colors that we do, plus ultraviolet light, which we cannot see. The most interesting thing about their sight, though, is that a chameleon's eyes move totally independently from one another. This means that a chameleon can keep an eye on two things at once, even if those things are in opposite directions. Not only can they look in different directions at the same time, but they can focus their eyes at different levels at the same time, enabling them to view nearby objects and distant ones at the same level of focus simultaneously. Number 6. Starfish 
For a long time, scientists wondered if starfish could even see at all. It was known that they have one eye on the end of each arm, but it wasn't clear if they could actually see images out of them or not. Recently, however, scientists have discovered that starfish can indeed see very basic images, about 200 pixels. I guess some vision is better than no vision. What would a starfish need super jacked up eyes for anyway? Number 5. Cuttlefish The adorably named cuttlefish has blurrier vision than we do and are completely colorblind. Cuttlefish have one photoreceptor that shows them shades of gray and another that detects polarization. The only time a human will experience polarized light is when they wear sunglasses that reduce glare by filtering out an orientation of light waves. With the help of modified LCD computer monitors, researchers were able to give us an impression of the changes in polarization that cuttlefish can see by changing the colors on screen, like in this image. Of course, this is just a representation for us to understand just how sensitive cuttlefish eyesight is, since cuttlefish are actually colorblind. So what's the point of cuttlefish being able to see this? Well, cuttlefish can also produce polarization patterns on their skin, which scientists think they may use to communicate, kind of like signal flags. Number 4. Butterflies Butterflies see with red, green, blue, UV, and the wideband light from red to purple. This really isn't that much, but like bees, it does enable them to detect pollen, and at the end of the day, that's really all they need. Though they have only .04 the visual acuity that we do, meaning that they could barely see something that's 50 centimeters away from them, they could still track down pollen on flowers. Number 3. Garden Snails A snail's eyes are located at the tip of their two smallest tentacles. Because snails can move these tentacles around as they please, snails have a very wide frame of vision. If only our eyes were not stuck in our lame skulls, we could do the same thing. Garden snails cannot focus or see color, but they could detect movement and differentiate between different intensities of light. This allows snails to move towards the sorts of dark places that they like. Number 2. Rabbits If you've ever set a tree down in front of a rabbit only to have it seemingly ignore it, don't worry, it's not trying to tell you that your offering is unwanted, it probably just can't see it. A rabbit's eyes are so far down its head that it actually has a blind spot right in front of its nose. Try moving your treat slightly to the right or the left. This unique eye positioning also means that rabbits have very poor depth perception, since their eyes have little overlap. Rabbits see objects on the right with their right eye, and vice versa. Number 1. Turtles While it's commonly believed that turtles are colorblind, in reality, they are better at seeing color than we are. In fact, compared to turtles, we're the colorblind ones. Turtles could see one extra color, which humans cannot. The color is referred to as red, though it's ultimately impossible to a human to picture just what exactly this bonus color is. Now that you know all these secrets of the animal kingdom, are you still content with your human eyes? Do you feel slightly visually inferior like I do? And which animal's vision would you most like to see the world through? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.